Yeah. Uh, hello, guys. Uh, I'm Yukio Strai from JPNAP. Um, JPNAP is layer 2 IX in Japan. And while we are analyzing uh, traffic data, sometimes we saw some interesting trends at our IX. So today, I'd like to share some um, statistics about the study we are doing. First of all, uh, I'd like to talk about the background of internet traffic in Japan. In this figure, we can see the number of broadband subscribers in Japan. The total number of broadband subscribers has reached 24 million. In particular, FTTH uh, fiber access has been increasing rapidly these past few years. And JPNAP is Ethernet based layer to IX in Japan. And the currently aggregated traffic reaches 120 gigabits per second. It's well known that the rate of P2P application had had a huge impact on an uh, increase of internet traffic worldwide. Its phenomenon is very much particular in Japan because uh, due to uh, popularity of fiber access services. Although we don't have protocol-based static protocol-based traffic data, we assume that most of the traffic was generated by P2P applications. This is a typical JPNAP track pattern on weekday, weekdays. The first Tuesday of September shown, it was shown in pink area. And other lines represent uh, one, two, and three weeks later. We can confirm the same threat trend from the first Tuesday to the fourth Tuesday. Traffic is pretty stable. We can use this characteristic to decide maintenance windows or when to apply threshold monitoring. When we analyze these kind of approaches, sometimes we do detect anomalies which are temporary ups and downs by about 20% in aggregated traffic without subscriber issues or network troubles. Today, I'll show you these statistics. This year, there were two triggers which affect the JTNF total traffic. The first involved a Windows update. And this is the first case where we realize traffic, lo traffic loss, traffic drop due to Windows update. Before dawn on January 7, 2006, uh, decline in aggregated traffic of about 20% on a JPNAP was observed. The green area represents the aggregated traffic on that day and blue and black lines uh, one and two weeks later, respectively. And you can see a drop at 3 a.m. and it took 18 hours for traffic to recover the normal level. Our theory is that this was caused by uh, the emergency release of Windows Update as quite a large number of machines running P2P applications download uh, update patches and reboot it automatically. In default configuration, Windows XP machines are set to, set to update at 3 a.m. As a result, a temporary traffic drop was observed at IXC and major ISPs in Japan without any network troubles. There's no way to prove this theory, but it's known 
that people running P2P applications do not turn off their computers at night. And Microsoft released an emergency Windows update in April again. We can see that uh, though there are traffic loss at 3 a.m., the traffic recovered in six hours, and there was less impact than on January 7th. This summer, we also found the France even when the monthly non-emergency Windows updates were released. The upper left graph shows the Windows updates last August. You can see the 25% drop at 3 a.m. in the graph at the lower right. We don't have actual evidence that the Windows update caused this but discussions with general community have led to an assumption that this was most likely the factor. After we found the non-emergency monthly Windows update that decreases, a cold decreases, I visualized the traffic data over the previous six months. This figure shows week over week percentiles on Thursday, 3 a.m., we see the dispersion from 5 to 25 percent in, in uh, magnitude of the impact. We have yet to figure out the reason and conditions of this variation. Continuing this research seems worthwhile for traffic engineering. And next, uh, another trigger its major social events. Here I show you the traffic trend during the FIFA World Cup games this year. As you guys know, the FIFA World Cup games was held in Germany this year. This uh, first match for Japanese national team was played on a weeknight, Monday evening, in Figaro. The green area showed the aggregated traffic on that day, and the blue and br blue and pink line are uh, one week ago and one week later, respectively. We could observe a uh, drop a little before 10 p.m. when the first half started. There was mini peak at half time. At the drop again, and the drop again when the second half started. Traffic finally returned to a normal level when the match ended. Not only IXCs, but also uh, major ISPs in Japan could detect the same traffic pattern at that time. Besides, uh, no website has been streaming matches over the internet due to broadcast rights in Japan. It's easy to imagine that a lot of people who are watching TV during that, this kind of attention-grabbing games. As a result, JPNAP traffic declined because people stopped accessing the internet. I think that this range captured human activities in Japan. The Japanese team's second match was played on a weekend night, weekend night Sunday, Sunday evening. Um, we could also see the uh, same trend from this data. The third match was held in early morning on Friday, Japan time. Total traffic kept at high level this match, before this match. For the graph indicate that a lot of people get up early in the morning than usual. When the first half ended, lots of Japanese gave up on the final round. <laughs> Some people <laughs> quit watching TV and began to access the internet after the halftime. As a result, um, JPNAP traffic kept at a really bit high level till noon. 
For comparison, we researched the trend with other IEXs in Europe. Ounce IEX could observe the same track, same track trend during matches for Dutch and finals. DECIX, located in Germany, uh, the host country for this year's World Cup, the impact on traffic was much less than they expected. Um, Link could see a slightly different trend. Um, some England game, the ones which are held while people were still at work, caused a small traffic increase, evidently bring down the streams. In addition, I remade uh, statistics for the World Cup 2002, four years ago. We could observe the same traffic trend in this graph. It seems that human activities had not changed drastically over the past four years in major social events. In those years, after this much, traffic increased up to 50 by 16 percent. This fact indicates that many people access the internet after the match because major P2P applications had started to develop in Japan around that year. We consider that P2P file sharing accounts for a lower percentage than now. Statistics of four years that reflect more human activities than this year's one. What kind of other events have affected internet traffic? First, um, major sports events that attract many people. Second, big news and social incidents such as earthquakes, mass power outages, or terrorist attacks. Um, Cause anomalies. All in all, internet traffic could go up and down 25% regarding total traffic in major social events. Events that cause significant impact on internet traffic can be divided into two categories. First, events involving machine behavior. Quite a number of machines running P2P applications reboot automatically due to Windows updates or security issues. Second, events that attract large number of people. When many people access or leave their PCs during a major social event, internet traffic will go up and down temporarily. Last but not least, Engineers need to realize the possibility of such phenomena when they design it, their networks or schedule the maintenance systems. And I bet this trend will continue in the foreseeable future. For further study, I want to compare these stats with other infrastructure utilization, such as TV viewing right? I guess there might be some correlation. In the future, analyzing internet traffic may be the best approach to social engineering. That's it.